Hey, fifth grade. I'm Mrs. Eisenstein. I'm excited to come join you guys today and kick off your uh, your study with looking at structures of different animals. And we are going to start off by playing a little game. So in order for us to get ready for this game, we need to get our science notebooks. You need something to write with. I've got my pen available. And then I have a bag. We're going to kind of play a guessing game today. So some of us have played a game, kind of like 20 questions, where we get to ask questions and we're kind of trying to guess what something is. Um, this is similar to that. However, I'm kind of controlling some things. And instead of you guys asking me questions, I'm going to give you some clues. So I have an organism inside of my bag, a different type of animal. Um, and I'm going to just rely on my sense of touch to try and figure out and give you some clues as to what this organism is, what animal this is. Um, in your notebook, you're going to want to write down the different clues that you're given and what your guesses are. After each clue, feel free to pause the video and try to guess, see what you can figure out, and then we'll come back for the next clue. So I'm only using my sense of touch. And I've got my organism. So I'm looking for my first clue, see, kind of feeling here. And on this organism, my first clue, ooh, this one, two, three. Okay, so this organism, it feels like it has six legs. So that's my first clue, an organism with six legs, an animal with six legs. So let's go ahead and write that down. And for my second clue, let's see, this organism, this animal feels like it's got a pretty small head. So that's my second clue, it has a small head. And my third clue, ooh, on top of the head, I feel two antenna. So two antenna. And my last clue, what's this? Okay, this feels kind of like, ooh, I wonder, ooh, this feels, feels like it's got wings. So I'm counting two wings. Okay, so we've got six legs, two antenna, a small head, and two wings. So pause the video right now and see what you might guess this animal is. All right, make your guess. Okay, so the first animal is a ladybug. I'm going to kind of put that up a little bit closer for you guys to see. So I see the two antenna. Here are my six legs. Oh, and in fact, it has more wings than just two, but that's all I could feel was just the two. Oops. Keep it in frame. And there's a small little head. All right. So that is animal one. Okay. Let's try another one. <clears throat> All right, so the first clue for my second organism, my second animal. I'm feeling some legs again. So this one has just four legs. So four legs, that's my first clue. And hmm, this feels kind of like it's got a small tail. Okay, so clue number two is a small tail. And let's see, I feel like your the head kind of has a nose that you know isn't really flat on the face, but kind of sticks out a little bit to a little point, but not like huge. So it's kind of got like a little small pointed nose. And then my last clue, whoa, okay, my last clue, we've got some long ears, so two long ears. Either that or it's some really big ponytail sticking up off of its head. Okay, so pause the video, make your guess.
All right, welcome back. We ready to see? Okay, so this one is a bunny rabbit. Okay, so see, I've got my four little feet, my small tail, my little nose, kind of pointed, opposite profile, you can kind of see come to that point, and then my two ears, okay, my two long ears. All right, let's try one more. Hopefully, I think your guesses are getting better by now. All right, so my last organism, my last animal, this one has no, no legs, no feet. So that's clue number one, no legs, no feet. However, for clue number two, I do feel two appendages on its side. Remember, an appendage is like your arms or legs. So it doesn't have legs, but it has something on the sides, okay? And then, Kind of feels like a fan at the back. So it kind of has like a fan shaped something at one end of it. I'm not sure if that's the head or the tail. Um, and then on the top or the bottom, <laughs> depends. Because I don't know which way I'm holding this. It feels like there's something else kind of fan shaped again. So we've got a fan shape on the top or the bottom, and then another fan shape on the front or the back. So we've got no legs, but it has two appendages, and then a fan shape at either the front or the back, and then another fan shape on the top or the bottom. Okay, so think, what could this animal be? Pause the video, make your guesses. All right, come back, and our animal is a fish. Looks kind of like Marlin. So I feel, and I see there are no, no legs, but then we've got these two little appendages on the sides. I'm going to hold it a little bit closer so you can see. You can see how it's textured out so it looks like it, it comes apart. And then we do have the fan kind of shape in the back, the tail. And then we've got this top fin that's kind of like a fan here at the top, too. So, and then we've got some other shapes. So now your teacher is going to go through some additional things. So all of these that we wrote down, all of these clues that we wrote down are actually structures of each of the animals. So structures is just a fancy name for a part. And now your teacher is going to work with you on some additional stuff. Okay, until next time.